Well, hello YouTubers. I've had a request to do more cooking videos, and usually I don't like to do cooking videos because, you know, I'm not a good cook. But if there's one thing that I'm not too bad at, it's making shepherd's pie. We're having a Bible study tonight. And so I'm going to make some shepherd's pie. But it's a little bit of a, a different way to make it because I have a magical secret ingredient. I don't know, it's about a pound and a half of hamburger. And these are some Bob Evans, Bob Evans mashed potatoes. Got two of them. And two cans of green beans. Drain them off, green beans. And this is my secret magical ingredient. Dale's Steak Seasoning. Yum, yum, yum. You take some of this, and while your hamburger's frying up, you pour some in there. Actually, I've already poured some in there. And you cook your hamburger up really good. All the way done. I'll get back to you when the hamburger is all the way done. Okay, and while my hamburger's cooking up and I get ready to drain it off, I gotta come over here and give my girl some love. Yeah. This is Contessa. This is my girl Contessa. And this is my little fat girl, Coco. She's a pork chop. She's gotta lose some weight. What's your pork chop? Yeah, look at that face. Isn't that the sweetest thing? This is biscuit. Yeah, this is biscuit. She my sweetie too. Yeah. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> we wrestle all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't she pretty? She is so pretty. Yeah. We gotta get some exercise for you. Yeah. This is my girls. Bailey's in there sleeping with, with her grandma. Are you making your presents snow? Ruff. Ruff. Yeah, and this is Bailey. Isn't she pretty? She's got snowshoes on. See them snowshoes? Yeah. She got boots. Yeah. That's all for my girls. Bailey, Biscuit, Coco, and Tessa just went outside. All right. Hamburger's about ready to drain. Since I don't want any chunks. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. chop. Well, make sure it's all getting done really good. And when I open these up, because somebody's put their fingers all over the top at least, open them up on the bottom. Yeah. You plug it in. To the sink and you drain all the juice up because you don't want juicy shepherd's pie all right and you'll see what i do with that in a little bit all right hamburgers all drained we'll set that aside we'll crack open side of the mashed potatoes to bob evans original mashed potatoes and I'm going to put it in here for three minutes and then we'll stir it up put it in there for another two minutes so it's nice and hot then I'll show you what I'll do okay we are approaching the combination phase where you take the hamburger been drained well and just spoon it up Nice and slowly, so you get as much of the grease left as possible. Grease is just not good for you at all, period. Zero. Not good. So, therefore, leave as much as we can so we don't clog our arteries and stuff. Alrighty. Spread that out. Spread that out. Spread that out. Chop it up again. Chop, 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 chop,
Okay. Now, we'll take our green beans. And we sprinkle that on there. Now, there's probably going to be a dozen people eating, so that's why I got such a big bowl. And I can almost guarantee you every time come back with an empty bowl. <laughs> but this is some kind of good eating here. Good old country eating is what this is. Take and kind of mash it down. Because you gotta get all these mashed taters in there too. Can't you don't say mashed potatoes, you say mashed taters. That's what the best part is. The taters. Mm-mm. I found Bob Evans is so far original, is so far the best. Oh man. Mm. I think they put some sauces in it, some seasoning in it to begin with. And yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Because I don't want to waste any of this. I'm gonna put it down here on the floor. Come on. For the girls to get. I'll give you some just a minute. I got two here. I don't waste food. I know it's not good to give your pets people food, but we just give them just a little bit. That's all. Just a little bit. And they love us, and we love them back. Okay. All right, spread this out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And then. Mmm, you gotta eat your spoon. Mmm, mmm. And then you take ground ginger. No, you don't take ground ginger. You take hot sauce. No, you don't take hot peppers. You take paprika to make it look purty. You don't say pretty. Down south here you say purty. Purty. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, get out there. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that's enough. And then you get yourself a knife. See, this is, this is my wife. Look at this. She's getting, my, my wife is getting crafty. I got a crafty wife. See what she's making? Yeah, she got this little project going on. She's making, look at that. Isn't that pretty? My wife's making those. Isn't that pretty? Look at that snowflake. All glittering. All right, back to the shepherd's pie. And you take some butter. Actually, this is margarine, not butter. You scrape it on there. A little dab there. Just not too much, because I mean, this is just to make it look purty. Not pretty, purty. You heard me, purty. Okay, right there like that. And then what we're going to do. We're going to take the top. Oh, whoops. We're Bailey. There's Bailey. She gets her little licks in too. Not much. Not too much. Just a little bit of mashed taters. And then we take and put this lid on it. Like this. And we're going to put it in this little oven here. And about an hour before we go, we take this bread off here so we don't cook the bread. We're going to turn this on about... 250 for about 45 minutes. 35, about 35 minutes. And then when we're ready to go, take it out of there, put it in our little carrying thing up there on top of the fridge, go to Bible study. I'll show it to you when I take it out. And one more thing, folks, and I think this is kind of important. Ever since my army days, you're not making a great big meal. Clean up as you go. Because if you don't just clean up the little bit, man, it gets to be a hassle and a big pile of stuff. Just clean up as you go. Makes life a lot simpler. You don't put the burden on somebody else. That's right, that's right. All right, let's take this out and we'll see what we got. It's about done. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh man. 
Look at that. Isn't that something special? You betcha. I'm ready to go to Bible study. All right, we'll catch you guys hopefully tomorrow when we'll be going out and doing some fishing offshore. Later.